hello guys today we are learn more generator options here is the three options uh, we are going to learn today custom plural name prefix and force migrations so generator provide support of custom plural name so you can specify it in command while generating a scaffold now let take one example psp partition npo scaffold i trying to generate book scaffold with author books plural name let's specify here plural author books we will take a small example for that so i just create it with name field validation is required and we are going to exit the process run migration scaffold generated successfully let's check in editor and verify it let's check model first book model is here and name is book and table name is author books so you can see here table generated with plural name we specified in option but model name is created as a book basically when we generate model without option table name is same as a model name and model name is so um, if we not pass plural name then table name should be books but uh, we specified author books so in this model table name is author books let's check migration as well file name of migration is also created with author books and table created with author books so uh, this command is um, very useful for generate a uh, different model name and different table name second option is a prefix sometime you don't want to generate all files into configured folder that time this option is useful do you want to generate it in sub folder then you can do it with prefix option so let's take one example we are trying to create category scaffold with prefix option and i specify here admin prefix so let's send it name string html type is a text it is required let's exit process run migration everything is generated so let's check in editor let's check controller you can see your category controller generated under admin directory request both request file are generated under admin main admin directory 
model as well generated under admin directory let's check view resource views and admin directory in categories so when you want to generate any scaffold in any subfolder you can do it with this option if you want to um, generate it um, in multiple subfolder then you can separate prefix by slash for example v1 so let's generate one more check in editor you can check here v1 admin model v1 admin and tag let's check in views as well resource views you can check v1 admin and tags all file are generated under tags directory tags directory located under admin directory and admin directory under v1 directory so you can uh, specify multiple uh, subfolder as well in um, prefix option let's take third option is a force migration when we generate scaffold at the end of process this confirmation prompted in console do you want to migrate database but if you want to run migration without any confirmation that time you can use it force migration option let's take one example and understand it force migration think force migrate yes title string and text required exit you can check here migration run automatically without any confirmation and in previous scaffold console prompt a confirmation do you want to migrate database but in this process migration run automatically because we specify here force migrate option so laravel generator provide a lots of option but we cover all the options in previous two video we will learn advanced options in next session Thanks for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel for new video. Thank you.